I wish I could tell you something very pleasant and cheery. I must go directly. There's no time to talk, but, well, I'll say it in a couple of words. As you know, the cherry orchard is to be sold to pay your debts. The auction is set for August 22nd, but you need not worry, my dear. You may sleep in peace. There is a way out. This is my plan. Now, please, listen. Your estate is only 20 versts from town. The railway runs close by, and if the cherry orchard and the land along the river were cut up into lots and leased for summer cottages, you'd have at very least an income of 25,000 a year. Oh, excuse me, what nonsense. I don't quite understand, Yermolai Alexeyevich. You will get at very least 25 rubies a year for a two and a half acre lot. And if you advertise now, I guarantee you, you won't have a single plot of ground left by autumn. Everything will be snapped up. In short, I congratulate you. You are saved. The site is splendid. The, the river is deep. Only, of course, the ground must be cleared. You must tear down the old outbuildings, for instance, and this house, which is worthless. Uh, cut down the old cherry orchard. Cut it down? <laughs> Forgive me, my dear, but you do not know what you're talking about. If there's one thing in this whole province that is interesting, not to say remarkable, it's our cherry orchard. The only remarkable thing about this orchard is that it is very big. There's a crop of cherries every other year, and then you can't get rid of them. Nobody buys them. The orchard is even mentioned in the encyclopedia. If we don't think of something and come to a decision, on the 22nd of August, the cherry orchard and the entire estate will be sold at auction. Make up your minds. There is no other way out, I swear to you. None whatsoever.